Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mike Tagliere, the Fantasy Pros Football Podcast. Thanks for visiting the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. Make sure to go and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there. But today, we're going to be getting into the top 10 boomer bust players for 2021 fantasy football drafts. Starting at number 10, we have Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy. The talent is certainly there, but the quarterback situation is a real problem. Corlin Sutton is coming back to the lineup as well, which could mean a slight ding to his target totals from 2020. If Teddy Bridgewater is the starter, I like Judy. If Drew Locke is the starter, I'm a bit more hesitant. At number 9, we have Dolphins wide receiver Will Fuller. We've actually seen Will Fuller without Deshaun Watson in the past, and it hasn't been pretty. He's averaged just 0.5 fewer targets per game, but that amounted to 32 fewer yards and 0.57 touchdowns per game. Now, Tua Tagovailoa may not be as bad as some of the quarterbacks that Fuller played with during those times, but Tua didn't show us much in 2020. And on top of that, we've also added Tua's pal Jalen Waddle to the mix, and it all adds up to Fuller being a boom or bust pick in 2021 fantasy drafts. At number eight, we have Jaguars wide receiver LaVisca Chenault. He's a popular sleeper pick of many analysts, but he doesn't come without bust potential. The Jaguars have DJ Chark, who's already proven to be a legitimate number one wide receiver, and then the new coaching staff decided to sign Marvin Jones to a two-year deal, then draft Travis Etienne in the first round, saying they're gonna use him in the slot quite a bit. This means that Chenault appears to be the odd man out, though is it possible for them to keep him off the field with his talent? There's a lot of boom or bust scenarios here with Chenault. At number seven, we have Buccaneers running back, Ronald Jones. All many seem to remember is Leonard Fournette's playoff run, but it shouldn't make you forget about Jones. Fournette was a free agent for a long time before accepting a measly one year, $3 million contract to re-sign with the Bucks. Here's something that might sway you towards Jones. Based on the number of defenders in the box, how many yards they had before contact, and how many tackles they broke, Ronald Jones actually averaged 1.14 more yards per carry than he was expected to. That ranks third in the NFL. Meanwhile, Fournette averaged 0.38 fewer yards per carry than he was expected to, which ranked 46th. That's 1.52 more yards per carry with Jones. At number six, we have Broncos running back Melvin Gordon. He's usually been a safe pick, but not this year. The Broncos drafted Javante Williams at the start of the second round, and based on all reports from beat reporters, he could be the starter sooner rather than later. This makes Gordon a boom or bust pick in fantasy drafts. At number five, we have a teammate duo here, 49ers running backs Trey Sermon and Raheem Mostert. Both of these players should be considered boom or bust, as we don't know which one will be the starter for Kyle Shanahan. This offensive line and offensive scheme is one of the best in football, and one of these running backs is likely to be a top 20 option, though neither are being drafted there because of their boom bust nature. At number four, we have Cardinals running back Chase Edmonds. The Cardinals and Cliff Kingsbury have said that they believe Chase Edmonds can handle a bigger workload, but the signing of James Conner could cloud his path to workhorse touches. Did you know that Edmonds has just one carry inside the five yard line over his career? Meanwhile, James Conner has been a steady producer around the goal line when healthy. Will he be the new Kenyon Drake to this offense? That question makes Edmonds a boom or bust fantasy option. At number three on the list, we have Falcons tight end, Kyle Pitts. Guys, I get it. He's a freak of an athlete and he was drafted as the number four overall pick. However, he's 20 years old. Do you know how many tight ends have finished as top three tight ends before 25 years of age over the last 14 years? One, it was Rob Gronkowski, the best tight end of all time. By drafting Pitts as the number four tight end, you're essentially drafting him at his ceiling, unless he compares to the best of all time. There's bus potential where he's being drafted. At number two on our list, we have Packers tight end, Robert Tunyon. Of the 310 tight ends who have seen 40 plus targets over the last 10 years, Robert Tunyon's 2.99 PPR points per target was far and away the best. In fact, it was 10.7% higher than the closest player during that time, which was Rob Gronkowski. No other tight end finished top 20 in fantasy football last year without at least 60 targets. Tunyon saw 59. Add in the fact that Aaron Rodgers might hold out, and you have yourself a very boom or bust pick in 2021 drafts. And number one, we have Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, Chase Claypool. Did you know Claypool finished with fewer than 60 yards in 11 of 16 games last year? 
He was very touchdown dependent, yet many are expecting a leap in 2021 as evidenced by his high-end wide receiver 3 average draft position. But how is he going to take a step forward? The Steelers still have Deontay Johnson and Juju Smith-Schuster, and they also added Najee Harris and Pat Firemuth in the first two rounds of the NFL Draft. Claypool is a boom or bust pick in 2021, especially when you consider Ben Roethlisberger's deteriorating arm strength. And that wraps up my top 10 boom or bust players of 2021 fantasy football drafts. I want you to let me know in the comments section below what you think of all these players. Do you think they're going to boom? Do you think they're going to bust? Which players would be on your list that are not on mine? Make sure to like and subscribe before you head out because we're going to be delivering tons of content throughout the 2021 NFL offseason.